it sort of reminded me like watching the September 11 World Trade Center, but this was real in front of my in front of my eyes. Everybody had their own uh, gadgets, like say phones, iPads. So everybody's filming, taking pictures, talking on the phone. So everybody's doing whatever it was due to the shock and horror, the whole ordeal. And you did the same. And I did the same. Omega Mwakambo spent the night with the crowd beneath Grenfell Tower. He took photos of the inferno, but he says he also did what he could to help. He made tea for firefighters, he says, and worked to divert traffic away from the scene. It was at five o'clock in the morning as he returned home that he discovered a body lying unattended, wrapped in plastic outside his front door. Look, I was in and out of my senses, but I was really struggling to compose myself. That body was not meant to be there in the first place, regardless what. I can understand that there was something massive happening outside, but it should not be kept in that place, in that particular, in the part of dirty water. That really, really, really messed me, messed my head up. What did you hope to achieve by uh, taking a picture of the man's face? God knows what I was thinking in my head. But I was holding my, my iPad. The body was not wrapped tightly. It was loosely wrapped. Inside, I was just saying to myself, does anybody know this person? Not even know what I'm doing, but I just, just happy night, like just as it, is, as it is, no explanation. But with anger, traumatized, mesmerized as well. Did it ever cross your mind that it might be morally wrong to tamper with a body or, and take a picture like that? Morally, I know it's wrong. It's like, again, I said, it did not feel, it's not even morally right for the body to, for its respect to be left unattended out there. What did you hope to achieve by posting the pictures to Facebook? This was not to achieve again. This was just to let people know what I'm going through. That's it. as simple as that. I cannot believe I'm seeing this. It's not happening. Uploaded to his Facebook page and on an open account, Mwai Cambo's pictures had the potential to be seen by millions. But there's no evidence they did. It took the involvement of someone else for anyone beyond Mwai Cambo's circle of Facebook friends to notice the photos. At 8am that morning, Mwai Cambo had met a freelance photographer who had just arrived at the scene. He offered the man his photos from the night before. Ten hours later, the photographer called to suggest a rendezvous. Just before I even said, like, hi, nice to meet you again, then that's why I found I was surrounded by police officers. They asked me a question, like, is your name Omega Moikambo? And I said, yes, that's my name. And then they asked me again, did you take pictures of this body sometime earlier on? I said, yes, I did. And then they asked me, did you tamper around with the body? Uh, I said, well, okay, yes, I did. And that's it, you're under arrest. And I was numb. I mean, when the whole idea was taking place during the arrest, my, my mind was not with, with being arrested. My mind was being exhausted, traumatized. And this, the shock as well, so I was in myself at that time. Newsnight has spoken to the photographer. He confirmed that he told the police about Moikambo's pictures, then helped them effect an arrest. Not that this assuages Moikambo's guilt. Two days after the fire, he appeared in court and pleaded guilty to two charges of breaching the Communications Act by posting offensive images to a social media network. The judge was unforgiving. Moikambo, who had no criminal record, was sentenced to six weeks in prison for each crime, a total of three months inside. One thing came to my mind is like, I took the picture, I didn't do anything wrong. It's just a picture, I didn't steal, I didn't kill. I didn't commit any crime that I know that is really, of, to an extent that I should say high risk. So the judge uh, sentenced you to six weeks for each crime. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a total of three months. That's correct. Um, how did you feel when you 
heard the judge's sentence. I could not, I couldn't believe that it was that long. Not that I was expecting short time, but that length of period of time to be in prison. That really shocked me. But the truth is that you did post the photographs mm -hmm. onto Facebook um, in exactly the way the, uh, the charges said. Correct. So you are and remain guilty, that's correct, isn't it? I would say right now, guilty, yes. How do you feel about that? I, to be honest with you, I feel so bad, I regret it. And can you understand why people are angry? I can understand why they're angry. Why would anybody take photo of a dead person? If it's just to be in a normal state of mind, why would anybody do such a thing? 